Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A25 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through settings. So to get started you want to open up your settings application. Let's go back to the main page first. There we go. So main settings page. From here you're gonna scroll all the way down to general management and then select reset. Scroll down again and select factory data reset. This will give you a message that doing so will remove everything that is listed right over here. If you have anything from this list that you'd like to preserve, make a copy of it before you begin. Now I'll also add uh, something that isn't really listed right here. So Google accounts, system update and settings, they don't really matter. What you should really worry about is things that are stored locally on the device like photos, music, documents and anything that you have put on there personally that cannot be downloaded through something like Play Store as an example. Um, and additionally, Google accounts don't get deleted, like the actual or erased as the message would state. They just get removed from the device, but they still stay. The account is still there. You can re-log into it. I do want to man kind of clarify this because it's not really clear, clear right here. Now, uh, one more thing, you can create a backup of your device, uh, but Samsung tends to make it a bit annoying and they want you to up uh, create a backup to their cloud, so Samsung Cloud. And I do want to clarify this, if you do such a thing and your new device uh, that you're gonna be restoring this to isn't Samsung, you don't have access to this backup. So now your data is just sitting on Samsung's computers, you know, they basically have access to it. Uh, and you can't restore it on other devices because, you know, they just want to keep you in their ecosystem, their grasp. So just keep that in mind. If your new device won't be a Samsung, also, don't use their um, program that they have on their website on your computer because that also will create a backup that can be restored only to a Samsung because, you know, we get to keep it annoying. So I just want to clarify this for everyone. If you're planning to backup your device, do it manually by basically plugging your device to your computer and just copying each folder that contains your data to your computer, uh, which might be annoying because Samsung obviously made it abundantly annoying to do so. Uh, I am a person that has recently tried to do this and uh, copying my data from Samsung to, for instance, Huawei, Samsung would just crap out and prevent it from happening after like 10 minutes of trying to copy it. Uh, same goes to a computer. It will just go through a loading period that is uh, taking seven freaking hours to calculate how long it's going to take to copy my data. So um, bear that in mind, Samsung doesn't make it easy for you to copy their data or data from your phone to anything else that isn't Samsung. So anyway, we're gonna select reset. If you have some kind of um, screen lock on your device, you will need to confirm it right over here. I believe if you also have a Google, uh, Samsung account, you will also need to sign out of that on next page. I don't, so it automatically allows me to just select delete all, and this will begin the process. But in your case, even though you confirm the screen lock, you still need to log out of your Samsung account because one verification isn't enough. Now, that being said, once the process begins, uh, it will be resetting the device for probably up to like two minutes or so. And once it's finished, we will be presented with Android setup screen. Now, I do also want to mention, if you do such a reset through recovery mode, because you can, the device might become FRP locked. And uh, at this moment, I don't have any way of bypassing this as I did record these kind of videos for most Samsungs at this moment. I don't know if there is any kind of vulnerability that, I, that can be used to bypass this. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to get rid of any kind of security and you don't know either the account that was logged in nor the screen lock. At the moment, I have no way of bypassing this. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.